Uh, that'll be $10.30, thank you. Sorry, I've only got a $100 note. Ah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Go on, Phil! Snap out of it! Come on, mate! You got the wedding in a couple of hours? Oh. All right, we're gathered here today in holy matrimony. All right, we started this election campaign 10 points behind the opposition. Now, what have we done that'll help get me across the line? Well, we've conducted a smear campaign against the opposition leader. We ran a major network broadcaster and tabloid in the country. Good. We've dug up the dirt on the whole party. There isn't a person in there with any credibility left. Well, we've had you with babies, children, pensioners, blue-collar workers, white-collar workers, the underprivileged, the overprivileged. We've had you with the homeless, the unemployed. We've even had your car washed by one of those blokes down on the corner intersection. What else? Well, we've had you with the drought-stricken farmers. You help them feed their cattle. We've had you in the flood areas. We've even had you helping out with the sandbagging. And then? And then, just to make sure, we surveyed the whole country. And we found out what every voter wanted. And we changed to accommodate them. We've spent over $4 million. And with all this knowledge, we're still trailing by 10 points. And it always comes back to one problem. And that is? You're a prick. wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, let's chase someone else now. OK. Uh... What about that guy over there? All right. Hey, you! Hey! Mum, I don't like this genetically modified food. David, I won't tell you again. There'll be no dessert until you finish your pee. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, can you do us a favour? Sure. <laughs> Didn't you want your camera broken into tiny little pieces? No, we wanted you to take our picture. Sorry, I must have misunderstood. <laughs> Sorry. Janine, it's about Frank. He... He fell asleep at the wheel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the victim, a male Caucasian in his late 30s, was found in a number of black plastic bags in an alley behind the Historia Hotel. We believe this is not a copycat killing, but the seventh victim of a serial killer known to us as Mr Machete. Any questions? Yes. <laughs> in a Celtic cross, what shape is added to the upper four branches and centred on their intersection? <laughs> no? A circle. The answer I needed was, uh, was a circle.
Calculations are correct. That meteor we've been monitoring is on a direct collision course with Earth. How long have we got? Oh, 30 seconds. What? 30 seconds? My God! How long have you known about this? Oh, well, we confirmed our calculations several years ago. This is outrageous. Why has it taken you so long to inform us? Because we've been a little bit busy at the observatory, haven't we? Julie's been off sick. It was Dave's birthday yesterday, so the boys went out for a couple of drinks. Have you seen them? They're a little bit seedy. <laughs> Dear God, several years? We may have had time to destroy it. Do you understand what you've done? It's not my fault. I gave the calculations to some kid in work experience and he must have filed them in the wrong spot. Like, I wouldn't have found out at all if I hadn't have done a bit of a tidy up. What? <laughs> well... How much damage is this thing going to do? All right, here we have a scale drawing. I calculate the meteor to be about the same size as the Earth. So, it's just gonna totally obliterate us. Five seconds to impact. Sorry, guys. I must have forgot to carry the one. <laughs> right. And have you had any drinks tonight, sir? I've only had about four and a half billion beers. <laughs> What's going on, Russ? I've just been sacked, and the boss told me to clear me desk. But isn't that Brian's desk? Yeah, but he's got heaps better stuff than me. <laughs> no, I'm out. Yep, me too. No. Four kings. I think that'd be your four queens. How, how did you know I had four queens? Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> Pass me tips. I could just get you to walk a straight line for me, sir. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like it's going to be a sad Christmas. I love you. Oh, excuse me. Could you make that into separate bills, please? But you're dining alone, sir. Well, rub it in, why don't you? Find your keys. Yeah, I know. It's costing me a fortune. <laughs> Cat, look. That's uh, look. You're under arrest. Uh, you know, look. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. This can't be happening. Oh my God. How could the one time I come home early and I walk straight into the wrong house? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Um, sorry. Uh, I actually live next door. Um, carry on. Stay down. Tip 
Jimbo! All right. <laughs> ah, one more for the road. <sighs> nah, I better be going. Ah, that'll be right just when it's your shout, you tight ass. Get lost. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute. Isn't that Sammy the Fish? Huh? Sammy the Fish? I thought he was in jail. Yeah, so did I. He must have got out. Yeah, he probably got flushed out along with the sewerage. <laughs> Hello, boys. It's great to be back. Get lost, Sammy. Yeah, if you know what's good for your mother. Coming from someone whose wife left him because he was never home. I'll say hello to her if you like. I see her a fair bit. She only charges 50 bucks an hour. Lost, you piece of scum! Ah! No, Jimmy, no! He's not worth it! Neither was getting in a shower with you! Tight ass. When a member of the public is assaulted by an officer, Jimmy, we take it very seriously. Well, I took it very seriously. I beat the crap out of him! <laughs> I don't think you understand, Jimmy. We have procedures in place for these situations. There's going to have to be an internal investigation. Yeah, all right. Stick the rubber glove on and I'll bend over. Whatever turns you on. Not that kind, Jimmy. It's an internal police investigation. Oh. This is very hard for me to say, Jimmy. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to suspend you from duty until further notice. Oh, but Sarge! I'm sorry, Jimmy. But you'll have to hand me your badge and your gun. Yeah, all right. There. And oh, and the handcuffs. Right about that. <laughs> that. 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 <laughs> Well, that stuff's no good without me handcuffs, is it? What's going on? Jimmy's been suspended from duty. But Sarge, he lives for the force. He's going to be really disappointed not being part of the action. Yeah, not to mention the free McDonald's. <laughs> uh, oh, who cares? Man? Not enough room really for him. They took me bags, they took me cuffs, they took me hamster. Excuse me. Jimmy, what's going on? You haven't returned any of my calls. Well, if a snob missed the policeman, they come to arrest me for being drunk and a public nuisance. Oh, come on, Jimmy, that's not it at all. Yeah, well, what? <laughs> what about now, eh? <laughs> Jimmy, all I'm trying to do is help. All right, if there's anything you need, just let me know. Do you want money? All right, I'm here. What, money from you? What do I do, pull a cork out of your bum like a piggy bank? I don't need any of your stinking money. If I want money, I know where to get it. In fact, I might get some now. Yeah. Jimmy, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> All right, everybody get on the floor. And nobody move. Oh, my God. Bob, have a look at this. Oh, what is it? It's me, you idiot. It's all blurred. You're the worst photographer I've ever seen. Oh! oh I've I've told the best. you. No, I've told you. I've tried. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> all right, then, young Maxie Gilbert on strike. The pressure on this young boy is enormous. Three to tie, four to win. That's the equation. All right, Dad, adjusting the field a little bit first off. Come in, Michael. Come on in. Who would have thought it had come down to the last ball of the match? Come on, Dad. All right, three to tie, four to win. Six is over the fence and out as Dad comes in to bowl to Maxie. Yes! We got him! All right! That would have to be one of the best backyard cricket wins ever! Whoa! We're the winners, you're the loser. We're going in for milk and cookies! <laughs> you made that look pretty good. That's what you pay me for. 
Do you have the money? Forty thousand dollars. There's plenty more where that came from. Yeah, I know. Dad? Dad? You want to play another game? <laughs> Mate, there's not much in the paper today. <laughs> hey, stop it! What are you doing? Who wants that? Oh, yeah. Five bucks. The day before, jumpers were invented. Right, I nothing for you to see here, thanks. Stay right back. All right. Hold it. Um, stay right back, thanks. The day before, jumpers were invented. Yeah, so we've been back about six weeks and uh, we're going to go again soon. Well, it's great to see you, Phil. Thanks for coming. Oh, Stevie! Russell, how you going? Good, mate. How you going? Not too bad. Russ, this is a friend of mine, Phil. G'day, Phil. I'm just going to the bar. Beers? Beers are good. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward when you're left talking to somebody at a party you don't know that well. <laughs> Make you feel awkward? Oh, no, not really. Never four tickets like that. <laughs> Check out the bike shorts on that guy. Wow, they certainly leave nothing to the imagination. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who did that? Come on. Mm. a couple of thoughts. Why don't they just call bread raw toast? <laughs> what removes nail polish remover? Can you get lunch at a bed and breakfast? And when does walking distance no longer become walking distance? That's got me baffled. Oh, and they say most car accidents happen within one kilometre of your house. So when I drive home, I park the car one kilometre away from my house and then I catch a cab the rest of the way. <laughs> Who's a clever boy? Yeah, obviously not me because I bought one of those reversible jackets the other day. The only problem is, when you turn it inside out, it makes you walk backwards. <laughs> Not to mention that sound it gives off. Beep, 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 beep. Bye now. 